30 minutes of 30 minutes or so, I'm going to be wasting your time. Dance, dance. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Before we do anything else, some of you guys have in are in here already. I have a quick question. How many of you guys did not get your posters? Can I have a quick show of hands? All right. So what I'm going to do is that in case some of you guys didn't realize or it's not told to you earlier, uh, if you were one of the first 50 to come in, you do get posters. We get a whole bunch of them, but we have some extras, and I would like to give it to some of you guys here. So we want a poster. Raise up higher. All right. So well, how I'm going to do this is, um, I'm going to ask my friend here, uh, Aizen. Aizen, say hi, everybody. Aizen. Do me a favor, say hi, Aizen. Hi. Hi. Thank you. All right, so how it's going to work is that I want you guys to do me a favor. I'm going to turn my back. I'm going to ask Aizen, right, to pass it along, like, how many rows back, and either to my left, to my right, or to my center, all right? So what I want to do is, is I raise my hand, I want you guys to make noise. I will point to the parts that is the noisiest, and if I hear it, I mean, if I hear it well enough, that's where Aizen's going to go, all right? So yeah, just, just help me move it along. Alright? Just give me just give me a quick shout, alright? Hi Jared! Come on, we wait for the signal, alright? I know you guys are all super excited. Come on, ready? Ready? One, two, three. Be. We got one more. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, she came really prepared. <laughs> yes, I did. Alright, guys, could you, can I have a round of applause for them? These guys are awesome. Alright, so I'm going to play the dumb guy. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to start from this end. I have everybody introduce themselves. Uh, and what I want you guys to do, alright, is go play the same game as I played earlier, which is make noise for them. Alright? Oh, come on, show some love, eh? Alright, so, yeah, do you guys need Ricola or something? Does that help? <laughs> Alright, I, I get no money from them, so I really wish I did. Alright, so let's start from this side, alright? You're the only man in this row. <laughs> this entire movie is, is, is underrepresented, <laughs> at least from the male populist side there. <laughs> It's like the same with the panels, they're like, you know, we're not really well represented across. But anyway, alright, could you introduce your name and who you're cosplaying today? Okay, uh, my name is Chiping and uh, I think I'm dressing as a... Uh, Togu... Uh... Togusa. <laughs> Togusa. <laughs> alright, Chiping, could you, alright, uh, could you give me a... So you step forward, give us a pose, and I want everyone to cheer for it, come on! Yeah. Alright, thank you very much. Next up! Alright, Wanyin, you're not a game. Come on, step before it. Give me a pose. Everybody, just cheer for her! You see, this is how it works. If you're a girl, you get automatically at least two decibels more. <laughs> Alright, next up. Uh, hi. <laughs> I'm Alyssa, and I'm dressing up as Motoko. Quite casual, because she doesn't have her guns right now. Uh, yeah. well, honestly, there are, there are arm blades hiding somewhere. I'm sure she has some implants somewhere. <laughs> we believe you. Alright, you don't mind? Nice. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah! yeah. 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 Woo. Woo. <coughs> Thank you. Next up. Hi guys, I'm dressing up as Neiju Mokoto. I was supposed to come as the geisha, but I don't have time, so I'm so sorry. I put it up quite last minute. It's not really based on any of the official uh, attire or costume. It's just something I thought she might pull up for a last minute mission like this. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh, thanks guys. <laughs> oh, this, is, this is support, man. Support! <laughs> we got a 3D scan to picture after this, right? <laughs> Alright, last but not least. Hello, I'm so Ian. I'm doing uh, the major arise. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Alright, so Ian, yeah. don't mind. Center stage. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you guys to cheer for them one more round, one by one by one. What I want to do is, Isaac, could you uh, bring out our little presents, uh, sorry, our prizes, just to show everyone what's at stake right now. Uh, grand prize, just one thing at a time, if you don't mind. So, grand prize, you will know, receive a limited hit. Yeah. This thing is awesome, right? As well as a infuser bottle. Nice. And a super cool Geisha fan. I can open this. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, showgirl he is not. <laughs> I don't have the body girl. It's the beard. It's the beard. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. alright. So, second prize will get, actually, the jacket as well. And an infuser bottle. Oh, why is everyone hiding on that side? Girls, if you don't mind, come on back. Don't, don't go on. <laughs> we have, like, five minutes for me to do this, so... <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to do this real quick, alright? Uh, guys, if you're all nice and ready. Alright, I'm just going to stop at the back. No one knows who am I going to be putting my hand hovering over. But when I hover my hand over, I want you guys to cheer, alright? Based on your noise, we'll go up, down, and... Right?
we become democratic because everyone has their biases? I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, we're down to our top three. Shit. So, you guys are horrible. Because <laughs> you guys need to go home, look in the mirror and ask yourself, is this really worth it? <laughs> Running for our third place, the third place winner gets home with one infuser bottle. All right, yeah. it's nice to drink water with, and if you like a lemony taste, that's what you do. <laughs> yeah, no, that's really what infuser bottles are for. Huh? You guys are not familiar with infuser bottles? No. Nope. 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 You guys need to go home and YouTube this. This is better for your health. Are we Anyways. <laughs> all right, so last, I'm going for my third place. All right, ready? <laughs> Fucking hell, this is good stuff, man. Can't believe it. 
is the first manga adaptation from the western countries that is just holy shit you gotta watch this man fuck it's pretty good man I mean, it's not pretty good it's just excellent holy shit <laughs> that's the captain and jeremy the mc captain in the attire Juanito go there. It's hard to speak above this thing and the mics don't work. Yeah, there's still free stuff to give out. It's now uh, 11 15 pm. Unless when I go home, I will upload some videos and put this one on YouTube and after that, watch The Expanse Season 2. This day I watched about two and a half episodes. But the ones that I gotten from the internet was 40 minutes long, it's supposed to be one hour, so a lot were cut off from the Expanse Season 2. So I re downloaded it and get the one hour one. So the Expanse, go and watch The Expanse and definitely go watch uh, Ghost in the Shell. Excellent. Because we're going to do this a la wedding planners kind of style. Uh, our lovely bride and groom is going to be Richard here. <laughs> so the way this is going to work is it's going to do, you know how to do a flower thing, right? You're throwing one too. I'm throwing one too? Oh, okay. So yeah, so it's kind of bride and groom right now. Yeah, so... So... We need... Yeah, yeah, but uh, we do want like uh, we do want like six people to come and do the reaction video. So if you guys would like to give us a word or two, uh, Hi Peak has a nice corner set up for you. Okay. Don't mind. Thank you very much. Well, as much as you can give, just please do. It. Okay, we do it now. Can't beat on our way. Selfie. Never mind. Okay. Gotta okay. get a selfie with Venus of the cosplay. No, 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 the, the story, the fan. Can I, can I get a selfie with you, Venus? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Oh, my hair is already a mess though. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Maybe on the right? Okay, this is a video selfie. Video, what should, what should I say? Uh, what you, ever you want to say, what's your motto in life? Are you okay? I'm, I'm going up uh, Shit, I've forgotten the line. What line? It's okay. Motto in life. Your memory don't define you, it's how you live that define you. Check out this movie, okay? Yeah, okay. You are a great cosplayer. Oh and my god! I mean, I mean, and, uh, and uh, I think you have the face for Kaisha. Thank you. Thank you I'm not sure if that's a compliment, but okay, thank you. Okay, it's a compliment. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> so one more? Well, there was only one fan. He threw it and it flew there. And I went to pick it up from there. Oh, there's only one fan. Uh. Who is still empty-handed right now? Me. 
Really? Really? This is not a toy. Can you catch? Oh, lucky. Okay. And posters. Wow. Good stuff. So thank you very much to uh, Outpost, Hyper Geek, and Comic Fiesta for this event. Really awesome indeed. So while I'm walking to my uh, bike, I will give you the full review with the spoilers and everything else. So hopefully you enjoy that. So this is the beginning of my review. I left more of my shit there. Let's see here. There's nothing left. Bye bye. Sayonara. <laughs> Sayonara, bye bye, thank you very much. To Jared. Jared, thank you very much. I'll post thank you too. So, the review this is going to be a spoilerific uh, review. And of course, I have to find a way to get home. Bye bye, uh, Venus. <laughs> bye. Hey, when's your cosplay? Next, next cosplay. Bye. So now I have to go and find a way to get out of here. It will be a click click sound. Uh, of, of my tribe, I'm not sure why is it so noisy today. Or has it been noisy since I'm always wearing my... Uh, what do you call those? Earbuds. Now where to go? Hopefully I did not leave any shit. Oh fuck. Uh, now there's one get out of here. Idea. So let's uh, take a leisurely stroll. I think we should take the. Uh, uh, oh, they are lining up for the whatever. Go back there to the elevator that I came from. It's getting very annoying with this goddamn thing. So, uh, spoilerific review of the thing, uh, not the thing, not the monster thing. The Ghost in the Shell starring Yarl Johansson, Scarlett Johansson. Uh, of course, I watched it for free, and definitely it has made it a bit more sweeter since it's free and it's a premiere screening, first time in Malaysia. Uh, GSC also. Fuck. Not where I'm supposed to go. So I just get it out of the way. 9.9 .9 out of 10. That's how excellent the movie is. Oh my god! You know why it's excellent? It's because like the theory behind listening to music. The first time you listen to music, you wouldn't like it. But the second time, when you are familiar with the rhythm, with the lyrics, or with whatever, you will tend to like it more. So it's similar to this Ghost in the Shell movie. Starring Jarl Johansson. Shot by shot, most of it is very, very familiar because they have taken liberty. Not they haven't taken liberties. Maybe a, slightly a bit of liberty, but uh, mostly I would say seventy percent of the shots that they made of the movie is what you can find in the. We are back to GSC Cinemas here. The table was there for the Ghost in the Shell screening. Uh, so I think I'm supposed to go where? No idea. Should we go the elevator? Elevator should be there. So since I'm so familiar with all the the things that have been like shown in the movie because of the anime and of course of the movie because they have taken a lot of the scenes from the series of the movies and of course I think it's from the anime as well uh, like say the second gig and standalone complex I think I'm not sure actually there just should be an elevator around here should be no yep it, it leads to the outside when it comes to like say events happening in Bajaya Times Square in regards to it happening in the in the what call in the GSC cinema or is it something else? I'm not sure. Uh, 
particularly the Final Fantasy ones, you like after 10 p.m. you can't go into the uh, uh, shopping complex proper. That's why it's very hard to go down. You have to go through the parking lot. So thank God here is different. Wait a minute. It's not working. Ah. The lifts are not working. Uh, maybe it's not working for them and there's no red light. So again, have to use the... Uh, it's got tempting. It's not working. Ah. Shit. Oh god. I'm not sure whether this works or not. Hopefully it works. So, why is it so good? Because it's familiar. You might say, oh, I've, if I've seen it before, in anime form, why would I be impressed with the what is found inside this 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 live action movie? I can tell you that the live action movie is very pretty, very nice. Even though I'm sitting at the first row, crane my neck just to watch a goddamn thing. It's <coughs> the picture is distorted. It's distorted because angle is just not good. But still, even though with all these defects or all these like things that can detract from my experience, I still feel that it's very, very good. Very, very good indeed. There are so many... The movie is familiar because bit by bit, bit by bit, it is the first movie. First movie. But I could say why I gave it a 9.9 .9 is because it is even better than the... Oh, fuck, it's locked. Ah, oh, fuck sake. God damn it, how am I gonna get out? It's always a problem with all this bullshit thing. After 10 pm, I'm gonna get out. Good luck. If there's a fire, you're fucked. If there's a nuclear bomb in the Levy One Utama shopping complex, you're toast. Literally. Figured, not figuratively, but literally, you're toast. From radiation and the nuclear blast and the heat. Is this gonna open? Nope. Fuck man, I gotta go back to fourth floor. Okay, it's the same situation with Jai Times Square. So bit by bit, it's the same movie, but it is better than the first Ghost in the Shell. <coughs> the anime. Because it is complete, it's a complete package. Uh, how to get out of here? How to get out of here? Uh, yes. How to get out of here? Get out. Ah. Hey, you can use this lift. Lift is not working, I think. Oh, the uh, I, oh you don't know. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think so. Shit. Uh, I I want to get out because of my motorcycle. Okay. So how to get how to get out of here? Bagaimana nak keluar? Ah. Elevator tak guna. Tak boleh kan? Elevator. Do my review like this. Fuck this shit. How to get out here? I think we have to walk. You no, know, follow the cars. Go down. Is it the round one? Ah? Is it like this? Ah? No. Uh, yes. Yes. Ah. Yes. Then easier. Where is it? That way. Uh, no idea. I think the guard has gone somewhere. Asshole. How to get out here?
Lift lah. I don't want to depend on the lift lah. I don't. I think it's all switched off already. Oh, you always ah? Uh? Uh, yes. Oh. I should be working. I'm not sure. I have no idea. Never mind lah. I'll take the long way lah. <laughs> you, kalau na, if you want to go and use the elevator, go ahead. Do you want to use the stairs? I don't want to use the stairs because it's locked already. Most of it. Really? I think so because I I want I was downstairs already and it was locked. Yeah, you have a way, but you have to go down at G. Oh, is it? I know, I'll, I'll follow the cloa. You can follow the... Oh, let's go round and round and round. Yes. It's, oh, it says you can. No. Yes. Okay, so this review of uh, this movie has become uh, Escape from One Utama. service lift very big lift for cargo use yes actually the rubbish lift you can smell it mm. that's why I don't like to attend events after 10 p.m. this day in the cinema and then you cannot leave if you don't have a car God, what's uh? It's not locked. I hope. Can we use this? Hey, oh here. Too bad my camera has no infrared. Oh, yes, it's so dark. I'm scared. I I don't want to be raped. <laughs> I should be scared more, not you. Hey, I I also scared one. Oh, so dark. Man. Oh, we're in the one with Nama when it's dark. It's a nice setting for a zombie movie. Okay, it's not dark actually. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Uh, okay, now what? It's like a game, you know, where you fight zombies in the mall alone. It'd be so cool. You can drive those cars and mow down the zombies. Turn right, yes, Victoria's Secret, my favorite landmark. See ya! See ya! What? Oh! So, what's your name? Uh, Aslida. Aslida, thank you very much for the company. This is for YouTube, actually. Yes! Thank you! Were you with the GSC or something? No, you work here, right? I'm doing my workout, gym up there. Oh, gym? Ah? Yeah. Oh, here's the gym. Ah. Yeah, uh, the oh, you work in the gym? Ah? No, I'm doing my workout. Oh, you're doing your yeah. thing? Yeah. Exercise. I haven't exercised in years. Oh. I, I always go back to sleep. Okay. Right. See. Bye bye. No, I got to do a review of the movie. I just saw. Okay, bye. Bye. So let's continue on the video review while uh, it's not raining, right? Yes, it was raining. It's wet. So it's much, much better than the original anime because it was much, much better than the original anime because it's a complete package. It's a standalone complex, standalone movie. 
uh, keep on saying the standalone complex because it's the name of the first series of Ghost in the Shell by studio whatever. I forgot what the name of the studio. There's no such thing as a studio whatever. So it's complete. You don't need to have a second movie, but I would love them to do the second movie, especially with the same director, same actress, and whatever actors there were. I do not know who the director is, but it's pretty good. It's not bad. I like it. Because there's it's a wealth of uh, many like bad guys. The bad guy in this movie, this Scarlett Johansson movie, was yeah, okay. It's, o it's okay. Slightly threatening, but not much. Uh, I'm talking about the company guy, okay? Not the other one. The other one is the friend, childhood friend, uh, childhood friend of Miss uh, Ghost in the Shell, aka Motoko Kusa Kusanagi. When you go into this movie, you think that it's a lot of spoilers, okay? Go watch it first before you watch this video, if you want to watch this video. She started out with a different different uh, name and at last we get to know her real name and well we get to see it coming we have niggling that oh maybe she is a different character maybe she is not the Motoko Kusanagi where or whom we love and have uh, been through the years watching the anime and movies which by the fact I love the first uh, standalone complex and the second gig but now they rebooted it with Arise and Arise does not make my dick rise because it actually sucks 4 OVAs I think for the Arise series this does not is terrible I mean terrible in the terms of does not hold a candle to the old old uh, movies or just one movie and the two TV series the two seasons the second movie, which is a technical feat by itself, by being very very beautiful when it was released back then, was a piece of what I call confusing stuff to me because I don't understand what the fuck they were wanting to achieve. It's practically something like a tech demo for beautiful stuff that you can do with a computer. Scarlett Johansson's uh, portrayal of Major Kusanagi was top notch. At the end, I always thought there would be a Hollywood type of uh, ending, which is, you know, when she sees her real mother, okay, I think Hollywood fashion would say, ah, oh, I'm not going to reveal to my mother that I am Motoko Kusanagi. That's how it goes with Hollywood because that's how bad Hollywood writing is. They have to, like, keep some cliffhangers to themselves so that they can reveal it in the future it's like a situation of will she or won't she but in, not in terms of love but in terms of should I reveal my identity to my mother that I'm in a different body now and I do not look Japanese like when I used to but I'm trapped in a robotic uh, fuckbot that is not like a Japanese person but of a western beautiful girl that looks like Scarlett Johansson well normally Hollywood would just no we're not gonna review it are you crazy we just do something happy what you want happiness in a movie no 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 happiness in a movie please no 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 but the movie did the unthinkable by making it happy she has resolved the family issue she was a runaway uh, of course the mother is a bit mentally unstable it's kind of weird that, uh, I mean, she is mentally unstable, that's why she was so eager to accept Motoko when she first visited the place. And when the mother says, oh, you are like my daughter, you look like, you, the way you stare at me reminds me of my daughter. I think she, since she's like a bit like screw loose in the head, would uh, say this to every Tom, Dick and Sally in the world. You look like my daughter because you look at me like m my daughter of old, which is like anybody else in the world. Because how we look at people is using two eyes. That's it. Of course, uh, there she is. Hello. It's uh, near my bike there. Bye bye.
Hey, you want the link to the video or not? Yeah. No need to off, I just give you my name card. That's all. You go. It's under ghost in the shell, okay? Okay. Review or something like that. Bye bye. Oh, okay. Alisa, is it? Uh, Ali. Yeah. Al Linda. Yeah. Okay, okay. bye bye. Bye. I got my condom here. Open it up. My jacket. I'm going to put this. Uh, So it's kind of weird that the what should I call it movie is like ha wants to resolve itself with happiness in the form of uh, being with the mother and stuff or revealing her true identity to the mother. Hollywood trope would say, nah, it's not happening. Okay, just leave that as a as a what call loose end. You know, just let it be. Maybe in the future they will like uh, rekindle the family dynamic or family problems. But in this movie, it's all tied up. So I'm not sure whether they want to like do a second or third movie. Because there are so many... Okay, there are not so many. There are two particular villains from the TV series that is very interesting to explore. I'm not sure whether it's explorable or not in the case of the first season, which is called the Standalone Complex. That's a 26 episode season. I don't think they can like uh, put into one movie but it's doable since the 26 seasons is like character building for all the characters and of course sprinkle here and there the main villain which I can't remember whether they resolve the, 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 the complex thing or not the standalone complex the call whether they caught the caught the bad guy or not which is the laughing man the laughing man is is always laughing. It has a symbol which is blue in color with a guy laughing and has a cap on the sideways like a bebop or like a like a rapper or raper. So get some sweets because I'm gonna smoke. I don't like to I know I'm not supposed to smoke if I have a I have a short trip tomorrow. I won't have any events, so no problem. No, no events at all, thank God. Thank you, BMW, for not uh, taking up my fucking time because you are cunts when it comes to, to your events. This was a more fun event, definitely. Get a fan, get a poster here. The fan, I thought there was only like many fans, but I was the one, only one who got the fan. What's so special about this fan? Is it a USB enabled fan? I'm not sure. No idea. But why is it only one? No idea. So there was Jeremy there, the MC and the captain. Uh, get, to, get to have a selfie with Venus, the famous cosplayer. And uh, no, don't worry, I'm not taking out my dick yet. So, so there's. The visuals are very pretty, okay? So let's uh, explore the characters one by one. Let's say Bato. Bato, 
when you look at the pre-production videos, you think Bato is a small guy, but in actual fact, because Scarlett Johansson is very has a very small stature, you know that she is small actually when you put her next to Bill Murray. Of course, Bill Murray is a very tall guy. I think he's six feet tall. Go and watch the most favoritest movie of ever. My number one movie of the world, which is called Lost in Translation, directed by Sofia Coppola of the Coppola family, who directed the father, I think, directed Godfather, I think. Lost in Translation, uh, uh, starring Bill Murray, no, yeah, Bill Murray and uh, Scarlett Johansson. You know, Scarlett Johansson is quite short next to Bill Murray. So the the actor who played Bato is huge next to. Uh, Scarlett Johansson, but from the post-production uh, pictures, he looks tiny. So, thank you, Scarlett, Scarlett Johansson, for being born very beautiful, very fuckable, very lustable, and very small enough to be carried. Uh, my style, copulation style. You know what I mean? You know, girl, but talks. You know, uh, fuck it. In front of you, copulation in the course thing. So Bato was uh, pretty good. You see the, those post-production of some of the scenes from the, the trailers, you can see that he has no eyes. I mean, he sometimes has those little eyes and suddenly it's normal eyes. Well, there's something that happens that explains what the transition is. The movie, I thought they were going to like be a surprising movie, uh, meaning that in regards to Major Kusanagi, Maybe she is an AI and not a brain. That would be a twist because that would be very different from the anime and that would like throw people off the loop. That would be a welcome surprise. A real AI and not a brain behind that body, that fuckable body. No nipples were seen, unfortunately. There's some slight humor. I did not notice the. There were a couple of characters, which is uh, at first I thought the guy Togusa. Uh, he looked a bit too old. Uh, in the anime, he had bushy hair and long mullet, something like a uh, solid snake from Metal Gear Solid Saga. I thought he was old, but he's played by the Chinese guy from Batman, uh, the Dark Knight. You know the one who. Uh, takes care of the, the money, the accountant. He's, it's alright, it's not bad. He's not fleshing him out much at all. And uh, one of the coolest uh, characters from Ghost in the Shell is the sniper guy. You get to see him in action. I only noticed him when he was shooting down the awesome uh, plane like thing that has a helicopter blade and also wings. That was cool. Too bad I did not get to see knife guy and a guy who's bigger than Bato. So never get to see them. And there was a Negro who's supposed to be somebody else. I did not see him at all. Actually, he was in the promo pictures uh, shown there in the cinema. I did not get to see him at all. Maybe it's the angle. I was like front row seat, so. <laughs> You don't get the whole picture, I guess, but it was enough to satisfy my lust for this movie. It's so awesome, man. I gave it a 9.9 .9 out of 10. It's, it's almost 10. 10 is, uh, what do you call, what would I say? I would say, uh, orgasm. Number 10 is orgasm. Number 0 is, uh, important. Number 5 is normal sex. 10 is orgy, number 8 is threesome, number 9 is foursome, number 1 is uh, play with yourself, it means masturbate with your own hand. Oh, very good movie, very very good movie, everything tied up, holy shit. So Laughing Man, I think it wasn't resolved at all, the Laughing Man, uh, fuck, uh, you motorcyclist, can you get, get the fuck out of here, don't hear the voice of your the noise of the motor. The 
laughing when I don't think he was caught in the first season. The second season, the second gig was awesome as well, but it's been many years, I don't remember the villain, but it was a number of villains. There was one guy with a white hair, and that one was cool, but I do not know why it was cool. Were they trying to make a, a, a republic or a different country? It was like 12 people on, on top of a building, taking out samurai swords and killing themselves, or disemboweling themselves. Why? No idea. It was a manifesto in all. It was cool, I remember the second gig was cool, but I don't understand it actually. It's one of those uh, things where it's cool, it was good to watch, it was mysterious, but I don't understand it at all. Oh, you want to watch this movie? I think people will say take some psychedelic, psychedelic drugs like mushrooms, magic mushrooms. You can watch it, it's beautiful, there's lots of colors, lots of hologram too in the form of uh, advertising billboards very good very good visually spectacle very very beautiful there were lots of uh, lots of hom homages to the other movies the anime and the CGI fuckfest which is the second movie the third movie is uh, solid state s section solid triple S solid state Something, something. I, I, got, I don't remember about. I don't remember anything about it. There was a dog, a hush puppy. There was a, a reference, uh, not a subtle reference, but there's a reference to the second movie, the CGI Funk Fest. Oh. So good, so good. You remember the trailers? You see the the major fighting the, some random dude uh, on a small like shallow water bit to bit for bit to the anime movie. What else I want to talk about? I can't remember actually. Nine point nine out of ten, man. Fuck. The last movie that I watched was, if I remember correctly, was in a cinema. Okay. Uh, was with my friend Dr. Hans in Serumban or was it in Johor? Either it's X Men First Class or Tom Cruise's uh, movie, which is called what, Die Never Die, Never Say Die, Die Another Day, Die Tomorrow, Tomorrow Never Lives. The, the sci fi thing, you know, like a game, it dies, it comes back again. I forgot the name of I watched that one with the. That, uh, with the other girl, Emily Blunt. I watched it for the first time with uh, Dr. Hans and I hated it. Second time I watched it, oh my god, it's great. It's great. It was cool. What the name of the movie. Damn good. Good stuff. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Comic Fiesta, Outpost, Geek, something, something, and everybody else for this screening. First screening of Ghost in the Shell in Malaysia. And it's free. Get poster, get fan, and get footage. the guy, the white hair guy, the bald guy in the anime, he has more action in this movie, a lot of action, he killed quite a lot of people too, holy shit, it's different from the one in the anime, that's a, that was a surprise, and he speaks Japanese, and I had to look for the fucking subtitles, I think the subtitles is sometimes on the left, sometimes on the right, so from my point of view, from my angle, I have to like, where is the subtitle? I'm not sure. That's why I have to read it. I don't read the subtitle that's produced by this movie itself. I have to 
sometimes have to go back to the where the subtitles are in all movies in Malaysia that has the Strangely so enough, from my point of view, from the first row, I did not watch the subtitles at all. Maybe I despise subtitles, especially in Malaysia, because it's like very grainy and it sucks. But nowadays, the, the subtitles here are pretty good. It's all computerized. Hmm. I never knew that. That's what happens when you don't go to the cinema at all to watch a movie in Malaysia. As I said earlier, I haven't watched it in years in a cinema. Very good, very good. Love the suit. Action sequences are great. Oh, almost forgot the spider tank. Holy shit, that was more threatening than the one in the anime movie. Oh, sleek, very flat, very sleek. The bar the Gatling guns. I think it has the same design, or not? Same design, same concept. Does it have the spikes? You know the curved spice at the end of the barrel. I'm not sure. I did not notice it. It was dark. It was quite dark. Yes, the movie is. Some of the scenes are pretty dark. It was pretty good. It's strange that they did not like uh, put an end credit scene where we get to see the other protagonist, the guy who was also something like a uh, major Kusanagi in the network, in the internet. Well, uh, that's supposed to happen, but we just saw his brains or his head getting blown. But before that, his eyes turned to ash or turned to white, me symbolizing that he left the body, leaving the brain, so that he digitized himself already. So he's somewhere out there in the net, or is the net now? His code is in the net, and they did not like uh, show hints of it. That's strange. That's strange. It's very strange. So that's my review. How long is this review? 22 minutes plus escape from Kondotama. So see ya. Excellent movie. Go watch it. I hope you go watch watched it before I spewed all of the spoilers. Okay? Okay? It's a great movie. Go watch it. Damn. If we get the whole cast and the director back for the second movie or third movie, wonderful things might happen. Can happen. Will happen. Hopefully. Scarlett Johansson for the win. Beautiful girl. I like her very much since Lost in Translation. Nothing beats 60 year old guy getting the 19 year old girl in Japan. Oh, my balls. Oh. It's not nice sitting on a helmet. It's bad for the balls.